Hey, welcome back guys, my name is Kobuman and in this video I'm going to talk about changing icon size in Windows 10 and also changing the color scheme of Windows 10. If you had followed my previous video, you'll notice that I have already created a couple of other videos related to Windows 10 and you know it's for beginners, you know, someone that who's trying to get used to using Windows 10 or just is transitioning from Windows 7 to 10. And if you're, I'm just going to go ahead and post the, the links to the two previous videos here if you're interested. Okay, so moving on, let's go ahead and change our um, color scheme on our Windows 10 machine or computer, if you will. Okay, so on your desktop, just anywhere, right click and select personalize. So let me just go back here. And again, this is just for beginners. So that's why I'm going to go slow and you know make sure that everybody um, is on the right page and it's easy to follow right so right click on desktop and select personalize so it's the very last thing from here personalize and then from here um, the second um, second button down if you will we're going to go from where it says background we're going to select colors so when you click on select colors here you'll be able to change the general uh, color of, of your theme so right now we have selected um, blue but um, you can also select any other color so if I go from this is currently selected here blue I can select yellow and see how it changes the yellow then you can see how the overall um, scheme or, or theme I should say of the window changes see how the icon down here also changed the yellow also the background um, the, the highlight if you will of the uh, menus also changed to yellow and if I select here you can see that everything else changed to yellow Okay, same thing, you can go, you know, select gray, for example, or um, what looks like pink here, at least to me, uh, it could be red as well. <laughs> I think I'm colorblind to certain um, shades of color, but I know this is green, definitely right here, and so on and so forth. But you can also have it um, to automatically pick an accent color for your background. So you can just turn this on and it will automatically um, select a color for you. Now, once we have selected, um, and let me just go back here real quick. Once we once we turn this on, so once I click it, it's turned on for automatically pick an accent color from my background. Um, you can go ahead and, and if you see this second menu down here, if you select here where it says show color on start taskbar and action center, um, basically what that's going what's going to do is change the color of the background here as well. So for example, um, see how it's dark or kind of a um, dark gray background here, it's gonna change that. Okay, so if I turn this on, you can see how it matched or uh, changed that to blue in our case. See how everything is blue, and then that's fine. You know, this is a personal preference, and if you'd like to change this, that's fine too. And also, the third tab down is basically says make start taskbar and action center transparent. So the difference is basically whether it's transparent or not. So if it's on like this, you can see that it's transparent. You can see kind of a background a little bit. You see that it's transparent, but if I turn this off, you won't be able to see anything in the background. You see that you can't see anything behind this, these windows. Also, this applies to the toolbars down here. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn that on and I'm gonna leave it to my preferences and I'm just gonna leave it here in automatic because that's my personal preference, right? Now let's go to themes real quick. So um, we, were, we were looked at the colors now let's look at the themes. So if we select on themes here, so it's a fourth one down, select themes. Um, and then, and unfortunately it doesn't bring us the themes window right away, which is um, very unusual uh, why they set it up like this. But anyways, um, from here we have to select theme settings where it says here, theme settings. Right here we're gonna have to select that. And then here, from here, you can see this looks very familiar to Windows 7, right? Windows 7 or even 8, right? And from here, we can select different themes. Right now, it's selected um, what well, uh, modified uh, Windows theme, which is this one. Uh, it says unsaved because I have made quick changes, as, as you've witnessed earlier. That's why it says unsaved. Uh, but if I select here, it's going to change uh, to Windows 10 again. And then I can select this one. You see how it automatically changes. And let me show you here the background also changes. This is a better view here. So if I go back here, this is the Windows 10 theme. Um, this is the uh, just the default Windows theme. This is what we we're originally using. So if I go to this here, this is Windows 10. And then here's another one, Flowers, you know. And it looks like you can get more themes online. So if you select that, it will take you online. You can 
pick different ones. And then also, uh, as usual, you have some high contrast themes here. So if somebody has uh, issues with, you know, um, eyesight issues, if you will, you can select any of these. So if you select that, you see how it changed it to high contrast, you know, or this one, or that one, or high contrast white, right? And that's really cool, you know, um, it's, it's really good that, to have that because some people, you know, can't, you know, um, see well or just don't do well with certain colors, right? But I'm just going to go back to our Windows um, 10 and I'm just going to go back to my unsaved theme because uh, um, in, in case you want to, like, change your mind, you can always click on the unsaved theme, especially if you have set up everything custom um, that you like. Okay, now as I promised, as the last thing of this video, I'm going to show you how to change icon size. And this is same and within any window, uh, window operating system. So in order to change the icon size here, we would have to control, hold control on your keyboard. So we'll look for a CTRL um, button, um, if you will, or a key on your keyboard, press it down, hold it, and use your center mouse wheel to move it up and down. If you move it up, scroll up, the icons get bigger. You scroll down, the icons get smaller. Okay, and that's how you change icon size. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. If you like this video or if you know somebody who could, you know, benefit from this video, um, please share it. Um, like my video if you like it and leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.